hi guys and welcome back to my channel guys in today's video i will be explaining to you how to start a youtube channel it's a new year and i think this is very important if you want to start something it's good to start now so guys this is the best time for you to start youtube if you want to start a youtube channel it's never too late so if this is something you want to learn kindly stick around wanna be free of this heart and I believe this is a very good time to start a YouTube journey if you want to have a channel. To start a YouTube channel, the first thing you have to know is your niche. You are doing beauty, are you doing lifestyle, is it head talk? What's your niche? Like, what do you want to give us? What do you have to offer? What are you even doing YouTube for? You have to know, okay, I like to teach. Do I want to be doing teaching here on YouTube? What I really want to do. I can stay long on this particular aspect and nothing can move me from it like now if you want to do lifestyle are you okay sharing your lifestyle to the world do you want people to know some things about you something you enjoy doing most that should be something you should actually do you can have varieties of niche you can combine so many niche the only thing you have to do is that you have to be posting regularly on each niche if you are doing makeup and uh, let's say lifestyle all together you know that okay this week you are doing for makeup the other week you are doing for lifestyle it has to be like one niche does not have to suffer because of the other because give a subscriber subscribe to your channel because of a particular niche and okay i'm okay with you doing makeup and after subscribing i stop seeing your makeup videos i'm only seeing your lifestyle videos i may actually unsubscribe because i'm not in for your lifestyle video i'm only in for your beauty or your makeup videos so step two is you have to have a name yes you have to have a name before starting something even if it's a business even if you have to give it a name what do you want to call your youtube channel is it lifestyle or blah 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 is it we have different names that like you can just google search or check other people's uh, youtube channel name and just create your name from it so i'm not saying you should copy and paste but you can learn from others to actually achieve yours the third point is creating your youtube channel guys yes you want to start a youtube channel you have to have a youtube channel to start this journey you need a channel like youtube needs a channel you can create a youtube channel from your phone and also from your system with your phone you'll be unable to do some things but with your system it is more 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 professional to channel the first thing you need to know just know that okay if you want to have a youtube channel you have to have a email address yes you have to have an email address like Email address is what you will use to open a YouTube channel. And it's very, very easy to go. Just go to your YouTube and click on it. And the fourth point is your equipment, guys, to start a YouTube journey. To me, I just say start small. Start with whatever you have. It's not enough for you to have light. It's not enough for you to have tripod. It's just have a good camera. I think that's like the most important thing you need. If you have a mobile phone, your mobile phone has everything you need. You can edit on your mobile phone. You can do whatsoever you can even film with your mobile phone so just have a mobile phone and you're good to go and if you want to like upgrade your filming setup you have to have like your tripod a camera a ring light or maybe led light or any type of light that you're actually okay with a soft box you can have a reflector depending on how you want to create your space but yeah i'm talking on starting small it's not like there is money already in it i want to like start small with what you have like using what you have to achieve what you need oh, so you are going to use your mobile phone just take your mobile phone just place a pillow or something in front let your phone stand if you don't even have a tripod it's not a must then you can use light your natural light just face the window that's like the easiest thing place your phone on that flat surface and make sure your phone is standing horizontal form and not vertical like that's the youtube standard yeah youtube video standard so with sunlight and your phone and maybe a pillow or maybe textbooks you are good to go but if you want like upgrade you can have a tripod and all sorts guys to film your youtube videos yet assume you already have the required gadget you need what you have to do is now for you to set up if you are setting up with just your phone that's where it's just just set your phone in a horizontal manner and record guys i don't advise to record in your highest quality because that is the best record in your highest quality and guys if you are using natural light please don't film at night film when it is very very sunny even if you are using android so when it is very sunny the videos are always clear so record as early as possible in the afternoon i prefer recording in the afternoon like around one two because it's always sunny then if you have your ring light 
you can actually set it up the way i'm setting it up right now your ring light your led light your phone or your camera in front of you and you start talking and if you're using your phone just that it is good to record with your back camera and not your uh, rear camera because when you record with your rear camera the quality is not always that huge now like, than recording with your back camera this actually do a lot and yeah to record you just have to like turn it over and record and it's actually advisable to have a mirror in front of you like as i'm talking i have a mirror in front of me to see if i'm actually in position if i'm not trying to do the right thing so just have a mirror in front of you so i can actually guide you okay i'm ready in frame i'm not more in frame my phone has actually stopped recording because that is actually one of the um things i think it is very very important like most especially when you start using your phone to record you run out of space easily and imagine you've been talking for hours and not even you're not even recording or you forget to start to start the video button so am um, i right yeah just to click that button to start recording and you're already talking and talking and talking and at the end of like one hour you notice that oh you're just talking to the end and like, nothing was recorded so that's going to like pay you so it's good to have a mirror in front of you so that's going to help you to uh know what you are doing if you are doing it in the right way or the wrong way now let's talk on planning and filming guys planning and filming your video to say the fact most youtubers don't um uh, film on like every day they batch record they batch create yeah let me they batch create content and release it each day and trustly youtube has made it very very easy for you, you can have like 10 videos on your, your private videos and upload daily depending you can even schedule your posting on youtube so it has actually made it easy for creators like us to um have our own time too because you cannot it's not impossible but seriously to be candid i don't think it's possible for you to get ready today do it tomorrow sit down and start talking and talking and talking and talking and talking you have to record you have to edit you have to post and the following day you start to do so, that same thing so i think the best thing you have to do is for you to plan what you want or fame it is very good to plan as i'm talking now even though i'm not having like okay like a script i'm not reading a script but i have what i'm saying like start a youtube channel i have it like on my notes already and i'm like giving you the point so i've already planned this as i'm talking like i've planned it and i've jotted some points down that i really want to talk about so if you don't plan it it's going to look um somehow i'm not saying like you might not even write if you don't like writing script you might not write but you should know that okay I'm talking on this thing okay i want to record myself i want to film my lifestyle i want to vlog okay i'm going out i'm recording as i'm going out. like it, it just has to be like scripted it's like a movie like okay i want to like open the door am i recording that period process am i recording you just have to like know when you what you want to record and you know they say youtube is just is what i want you to see that you will see you to plan well on what you want to record if you are doing lifestyle you have okay this is when i'm to shoot this is when i'm not going to shoot and this is what I'm just have to like plan. Even if it's a sit down and talk video, it has to be planned. I think most sit down and talk videos, like you actually have to plan that one because you are talking to audience, so it's not unplanned. Like it has to be planned. I'm talking about is editing, guys. Editing your videos after creating videos, after creating content, you have to edit them, guys. Seriously, as long as this video is, there are some parts that I have to like cut off because I was saying rubbish. I was like, um, yeah. So those parts have to be like cut and chop. And I have a video up here for you to learn how I edit my YouTube video. So I basically use InShot, and you can also use CapCut. You can use uh, Viva Videos. There, there are so many editing softwares that you can use to edit your videos on your mobile phone. Use your InShot. You can watch that video. Like this video, we actually explain to you how to um, edit your videos with InShot. In short, to me, yeah, people say CapCut, but CapCut is a bit uh, complex. I do my Instagram videos on CapCut because I like to like give it some shape. Yeah, but for YouTube videos, since I'm just cutting and shopping, it's not like I'm doing much editing or more transition. So I only use In short for my YouTube videos. And also to export and save, guys, save in your highest quality. Your highest, like it should be in 4K. Like everything should just be highest quality. It won't make sense when your video is looking boring or, or not that sharp. So in, with highest quality, you achieve that aim. The last thing I'm talking about is posting. Yeah, you've done the back your YouTube channel and you want to post, guys. Guys, as I said, you can batch create content and keep posting daily or maybe once in a week. You have now to have like your posting period, guys. Seriously, last year I was in Wednesday friday and sunday this year guys i don't know i've been 
down i've not been motivated enough but i think i want to like resume back to work like wednesday friday and sunday those days are just my own posting days if you find this video helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys but guys in case you are just seeing this face for the very first time this is becca and becca is a youtuber based in Badon, nigeria and this is what i do guys i'm a mom and i'm a youtuber i think so i'm a content creator based in Badon, nigeria so as well i create content for a living anyway don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you in my next video but till then stay blessed bye